Hello everyone. Welcome back to the second part of the tutorial how to place order in Ziridha using Java. Double click the place order button to add the code. Go to documentation page. Copy the code of placing order. Paste into program. Change the kite connect variable. Surround the statement with try and catch. Change the value of quantity to the value we entered on text field 7. Convert the value to int. Next select the transaction type depending upon the radio button selected. If the radio button 3 is selected set the transaction type as buy. Else change to sell. Next mention the price the order should be executed. This is only for limit order. For market orders the program discards this value. Next set the order type. If radio button 1 is selected, change into market order. Else set the limit order. Price the limit order executed is the price mentioned on price input field. Variable name of stock name field is JTEXT field 5. Set the value of trading symbol to value of text field. Set the stop loss value in trigger price. JTEXT field 8 is the stop loss field. Convert it into double and assign to trigger price. Run the code. Going to place order on Reliance. Allocates only 1500 for this order. Loss amount is 100. Press enter. We can order only two quantities for this capital. Stop loss at 2548.9. Click place order. OK the order is placed. This is the position window. Open the order tab. Average price the order executed is at 2600.25 and the stop loss 2548.90. Ok we have placed the order successfully. Next let's display the order details in our frame. First resize the frame to add a table. Add a table from palette.
add a button for order. Edit the table model. Edit the titles to display. First order ID. Stock name. Quantity. Average price the order is executed. Add two more columns for LTP and PNL. Double click the order button to edit the code. Declare a list variable to access all orders. Get order gets the list of all orders we placed. Surround the statement with try and catch. Next we need to get the table model. Table name is table2. Call default table model and get the model of jtable2. Add a for loop to go through all orders in the list. Adding row to the table for each order found. First order ID. Next trading symbol. Next quantity. Finally the average price. OK run the code. Yes it displays two orders. One is completed and another one is trigger pending. Here the first order is completed one. And the next one is open order. Next we will display only open orders with exact average price than zero. Ok let's edit the code. In order to find the average price of open order we need access the average price of the parent order. Define a function for that. Pass the order list and order ID as arguments. Create a new variable and assign the average price of parent order. Pass the arguments. First argument is order list. Next one is parent ID of order the I is pointed to. Let's edit the code of parent order method.
add a condition to check whether the order ID matches with the order ID of arguments. If so returns the average price. Add default return value 0. Add one more condition to list only open orders. We compare each order status with the text trigger pending to filter open orders. Replace the average price by average price of parent order. OK let's run the code. OK we got the average price. And is showing only open orders. OK that's all for today. In the next part we will learn how to view position details. Please watch the part 3 of this video from the link given in description. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.